that's it. That's, I got nothing else to say. I look forward to reading your comments down below. Seven billion runners. Seven billion runners with a B, not with an M, with a B. Let me explain. As you probably know, there's seven, approximately 0.8 billion people on this earth right now floating around on the seven continents going in circles on this earth every single day 7.8 billion people it's incredible and yes i believe along with our buddy kipchoge that anything is possible There you have it. Kipchoge did it. He broke the two-hour marathon. Anything is possible, right? And let's not talk about limitations with these runners. One hundred years old. Those runners are a hundred years old, everybody, and they are sprinting down a track. I hope I can sprint like that when I'm 45 years old. Like that is incredible. It's never too late to become a runner. Quick side story, Faruja Singh. Uh, he ran the Toronto Marathon as a 100 year old runner. 100 year years old. You think that's amazing, huh? He completed a marathon as a, as a centenarian, a 100 year old. But when did he start running? 89 years old. He had not, he, he lived on this earth for 89 years and said, huh, maybe I'll become a runner as an 89 year old. And then he completed a marathon, the Toronto Marathon as a 100 year old. So I, I share these stories to get you going, to get you thinking about, huh? I wonder if we could grow and invite other people right now who we know to become runners and why. All right, let me explain. Let me break this down for you. Why not swimming? Why not cycling? Why not rowing? Okay, all these other, why not cross country skiing? All right, all these other endurance based sports. Why running? All right, with 7 billion runners three points and i could i could list a hundred points but i'll just keep it to three right now accessible affordable and efficient accessible affordable and efficient it's a running is accessible what i mean you can run out your front door okay you don't need a lake you don't need snow you don't need a perfect road to go cycle on okay accessibility to the sport is literally walking out of your apartment, walking out of your dorm room, walking out of your uh, place of work, wherever you work, walking out of your school. The list, like, it's, that's what I love. You, you don't have to drive anywhere. You can run basically anywhere in, in, on this earth, even in snow, okay? It's crazy, even in sand. It's harder in sand, it's harder in snow, but yes, you can go run. I mean, frankly, I'm trying to think of a spot on earth where people actually live that you could not go run. I can't really think of one. Even, you know, somebody way up in the Arctic, I bet they go run occasionally. So anyway, accessibility is point number one. Point number two, affordable. 
All right, you all know the drill. Running shoes, all right, here's a pair, and here's a pair. Uh, well, actually, both of these pairs are probably under $100 at this point. Let's compare it to cross-country skiing, and nothing against these in other endurance sports. But frankly, I realize we're on a budget. A lot of families out there are on a budget. That is why I love running so, so much. And as a young family, and whatever stage in life you are at, if you're a student, um, if you are you know, paying off student debt, or you're paying off uh, your mortgage, and you're like, anyway, you're just being really uh, frugal with your money, running is the sport for you. It really is. Because what do you need? One, not three, not five, not 10, at least one pair of running shoes. And a lot of times you can buy last year's running shoes on sale for $80, $70, even as low as frankly like $35 to $40 if you know where to look. So again, nothing against cycling, nothing against rowing, but the entrance financially into the sport of running is so much lower than all that. You don't need a watch. You don't need fancy socks. You can wear cotton socks, you'll be fine. Um, all this gear, this running gear, you really don't have to have it, all right? So I don't wanna stress that so, so much. So accessibility and affordability are the first two points, all right? Point number three, efficiency. Again, you know how much I love to be efficient with my time and based on the research I've done, in order to get an equal workout for, um, not necessarily aerobically, but just like wearing out your muscles, bringing your muscles to a tired state, you have to go cycling for a lot more time than you do to just go for, let's say like a 30 minute run versus a 30 minute cycle session. I'm sorry, but based on the research I've done, the 30 minute run is gonna wear you out a lot quicker. Um, and as far as efficiency goes, like think of all the gear you need to go running. And I know I'm going on a little bit of a rant here, but the amount of gear you need compared to all these other endurance sports is so much lower, which means it's just, you put your, you put your clothes on, you put your shoes on and you're out the door, okay? So that is it, here we go. Accessibility, affordability, and efficiency. You can get out the door quicker. You don't need to actually do the exercise as long. And then frankly, um, just time on feet is way, way less compared to these other endurance sports. You don't need a pool. You don't need snow. It's amazing. I love running. I love running. So here's my thought, everybody. 7.8 billion runners. What would, how would that benefit this world? How would that benefit our communities, our neighborhoods, okay? Our own households. Here we go. Benefit number one, community building. Think about it. If everyone on your block went out three times a week, not every day, three to four times a week for a 20 to 30 minute jog or run, imagine the amount of community building that would happen in your neighborhood. You would be able to see everyone and give a high, give a little wave, give a little smile, give a little, how, how's your jog going today? How's that, how's that ankle feeling after last week? It was like, it creates, it would create so much great um, conversation because you'd see other people out in your neighborhood that you frankly would never see because they're in their house or they're in their apartment. So that's good. I, I really believe that. I think it would help build communities in a big, big way if people, uh, 7.8 billion, were runners. I, I'm, I'm not joking when I say that. Benefit number two, real quick. Health costs would go down, okay, because everyone would be healthier. Um, what is it? Uh, oh, I don't know the rates, but the um, American Heart Association puts out numbers every year about heart disease, in, in, at least in the United States, it's not good. Our heart disease rate is like really, really bad here in the United States. So health costs, I believe, would come down uh, in your neighborhoods, once again, in your communities, and frankly, nations as a whole, all right? And I know I'm, I know I'm dreaming here, but I'm serious. And mental health would be improved. In my humble opinion, I think when the endorphins get pumping through your body, when you go for a run, uh, it is a release. It brings a lot of clarity. It, uh, it's a detachment from your daily tasks that frankly can drag you down sometimes, okay? I get it. Whatever the stresses you're dealing with, whether it's schoolwork, whether it's finances, whether it's um, you lost your job, whether it's uh, relationships, like there's a lot of issues in this world. I totally get it. And so, but when you go run, you let it go. 
you let it go it just it's it's it naturally just get it dissipates at least that that's my experience and talking to other runners it's their experience as well so i think mental health would go way way up in a good way and benefit number three this is so critical 7.8 billion people would have a daily purpose i can't stress this enough there's so much um i'll just say like boredom in the world where people feel bored it, it blows my mind but people like they feel like they don't have a, an inner drive for something in this world that's great and that's going to get them off the couch every day and out the door every day they literally like and they're depressed and that's that's sad that's horrible that's that should not be happening in this world with running if and this is where streaking comes in so for those that don't know streakers in running those are people that run every single day one mile no matter what no matter the weather frankly they sometimes run through injuries they streak in their running why because they need that daily drive and that daily purpose to keep them moving forward in a in a healthy uh positive uh healthy uh mentally way and i get it i love it um i take breaks from running but i i fully support if you are someone that needs one mile of running every single day i fully support it why because it gives you a daily drive and a daily purpose frankly for some people just to get out of bed because they're struggling that much so uh, those are the three benefits community building health and daily purpose i can't stress it enough now in conclusion my final thoughts and thanks for sticking with me on this i realize i'm dreaming big today but i think it's good to dream big especially when there's a lot of issues in the world and i think running is an answer to a lot of those issues um and it's such a simple little uh simple little daily action and I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about going out and running marathons or ultra marathons i'm talking about running 20 minutes a day whatever that is maybe that's one mile maybe it's two miles maybe it's three miles whatever it is i'm talking 20 minutes a day it doesn't even have to be every day it could be four days a week that's a great great place to start four days a week 20 minutes a day all right and i think if if our neighbors our friends, our family members, we're all jogging every single day. I'm telling you, I think we'd be a happier world. I, I'm just saying it. And listen, I know there's a lot of runners out there um, in the United States. I don't know how many runners are in the US alone. I, I, does anybody know that stat? And I don't know, gosh, does anybody know how many runners like actively are running right now globally? I don't have that number, frankly. I guarantee it's probably not even a billion. It's probably, what, maybe a half a billion, 500 million? I don't know. So, the question of the day. In 2020, this year, as we begin the new year, what can the DGR, the Demore Global Running, YouTube running family, uh, what can we do to reach out to more people and invite them into this sport that we love? That we love. Like, I, I just, um, I, I don't know about you, but I'm on a running break right now, and it's fine, and it's, you know, it's fine. It's good to take breaks for me, uh, but when I am running, the sheer bliss that I experience, and I know some of it, some of it is, is, is scientific, some of it is mental, me telling myself, wow, I'm actually enjoying this run because I'm fit, and I'm moving, and I'm breathing in fresh air, but I also realize there's a scientific side be uh, behind it with the endorphins that, be that are released into our body, and it literally makes us happier human beings. Um, so why, my question is, why would I not want to share that with more people around the world? That's it. That's, I got nothing else to say. I look forward to reading your comments down below. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. Seven billion runners. And I just thought of one last point. I'd be a fool not to ask you to share this vlog right now with someone, anyone that you know, or maybe someone you don't even know. Just start sharing it on social media and inviting them to watch this and think about taking up the sport of running. I would be curious to hear the reaction of people that you know receiving this vlog, watching it, and does it plant a seed in their mind to become a runner, to become a runner. 
Tossing it back on the right too. Uh, gosh, another inspiring vlog. That'll be on the right and on the left. I'll pick maybe my best racing vlog on the left uh, from 2019 just to pique the interest of some other people out there. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.